but I also learned in trainings, mission trainings before, that it is when you commit your life or when you surrender your life as a missionary, um, that you also surrender your desire for a life partner and that it could very well be that you would stay single for the rest of your life but I was just not yet willing to give up this dream completely to get married one day hello friends my name is Jason and I'm Agnes and we're with Action Philippines in this video we wanted to share with y'all how we met and a bit of our love story. We love sharing the story because um, of the ways that God brought us together is uh, we just love sharing that. So. so here's now a little bit my side of the story, my mission's journey before I met Jason. I was called into mission quite early in my life. And so after I finished university, I worked a little bit but then I stepped out in faith and went to my first longer mission assignment, which was um, the Lagos Hope Ministry with OM, serving on board a ship, working in the book fair and ministering to the different people that we visited in the different countries. Yeah, that was 2011 until 2013 and then during that time I heard God's call to come uh, to the Philippines full-time and so 2015 I started working here in the Philippines joyfully first with OM Manila here in the Philippines so I was um, working here in the Philippines as a missionary um, but I was always praying and hoping um, for yeah, a partner, a life partner that I can uh, do missions together with. I was just yeah, wondering if maybe here in the Philippines God would have someone for me or not. But I also learned in trainings, mission trainings before, that it is when you commit your life or when you surrender your life as a missionary, um, that you also surrender your desire for a life partner and that it could very well be that you would stay single for the rest of your life. But I was just not yet willing to give up this dream completely to get married one day. And so in God's grace and by him even using some of my personal struggles, he showed me that I had to fully let go and surrender my desire for a husband and to completely trust him and his plan for my life. I did and expected to fully stay single for the rest of my life. But then God surprised me big time. So God called me into missions when I was uh, on a short-term trip in Guatemala. When I got back to Canada, I put it on the back burner. I, I ignored it maybe. Then in 2013, God started asking me about it again. I ain't, no re I ain't no preacher, was my response. I hate public speaking. Through a series of events though, God led me to Prairie College where I studied two years of digital media. Feeling led to use these new skills for missions, I would talk to different missions organizations and how I could help. I'll love the idea, but didn't really know how to do that, or how to implement something like that. Action was the only one who was like, hey, we have a guy in the Philippines and he's looking for somebody to help. So after a three month internship in 2016 with, with Adam and Action, I believe God calling me back to continue his work in the Philippines. So I joined Action as a full-time missionary and after my fundraising, moved back to the Philippines in January of 2019. During all this time, I was hoping to find someone to share life with, to do ministry with, and God answered my prayers, but in a very different way than I had hoped. And yet, amazing, way more amazing than I could have ever imagined. 
Our mission has a f annual field conference every year that brings together all the action missionaries um, at just a time to relax and get to know other missionaries better. This happened in March of 2019 and, and it being um, my first time and her first time, we both had to share um, about how we got to the Philippines, how God brought us to the Philippines. And one of the things that I shared of mine was um, that I was born into a Mennonite family in Paraguay. And this got your attention, right, honey? Yep. <laughs> um, because in my home church, we have a lot of um, members who come from a Paraguayan background in the same way like Jason. And uh, plus, I was also surprised that Jason um, has a Mennonite background as I also come and grew up in a Mennonite church. So, I mean, how likely is it that you meet someone here in the Philippines with the same background? Uh, I approached him because I was so excited about this and we got to talk about our uh, common heritage uh, one of the things that stood out to me was that she enjoys uh, terare. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a, a green leaf tea from uh, South America, very popular in South America, terare or uh, mate. Mate is hot, terare is cold water, it, and it's a very communal drink. So because it's a, a very communal drink, drinking it by yourself gets kind of awkward. I grew up with, you know, you share it with your family, you share it with the friends that come over. Um, and so when, and she knew it and she enjoyed it. So I asked if she would be interested in uh, coming together sometime and having some terare. Sure, I said. <laughs> but honestly, at that point, both of us um, just thought of like meeting up as friends. And um, yeah, so we did meet up a few times. Um, as friends in a group um, with other missionaries. I started to wonder if there's maybe more than just friendship, but I was just not sure. And I wanted Jason to open up first. I didn't want to take the initiative. And so I waited and I wondered and I prayed and sometimes more, sometimes less patiently. Yeah, it was not always easy. <laughs> and I was starting to think like there could be something more, um, but I was afraid of opening up again and getting rejected um, as I had many times before by others, by other girls. But my, f my friend Adam stepped up and really pushed me and gave me a, a nudge saying like, you open up and you find out if she says no, then you move on. But um, if she says yes, when I finally opened up, it um, uh, it, uh, um, it it went um, uh, something like um, um, like this. Yeah, 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 that one. So I was really excited um, when he opened up. As uh, yeah, I just felt so much more secure, knowing like what's going on. And um, so we had our getting to know uh, face and prayed and met intentionally. And um, yeah, for you guys to find out how God answered our prayers and how he continued this um, yeah, love story written by him, you have to wait for our next vlog. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>